I don't think it's any surprise that in the United States, more and more women are waiting to start their family, whether they're on various methods of birth control or are waiting to start a family based on their relationship or their career and wondering, I wonder if I am gonna be fertile when it's time to start my family. In the United States, the fertility rate and the infertility rate has continued to increase. So estimates are that about one in eight women have some difficulty getting pregnant when they do decide to start their family. And the problem with ovulation is if you talk to women and follow their cycles, uh, less than 20% of them are able to identify the fertile part of their cycle. And even if they follow the clinical guidelines, only about a third are able to identify the fertile window of their cycle. Certainly over the years, lots of different methods have been used for women to clinically try to decide where they are ovulating, whether it's evaluating their own cervical mucus, using the urine LH kits, or doing basal body temperature. And the problem is none of those are very precise, very convenient, and for some women reinforces the fact that they're not pregnant and are currently trying to get pregnant. So something that was more user-friendly and more precise would certainly be helpful. Priya is a new tool that uses continuous core body temperature to anticipate when ovulation is going to occur and then to confirm that it's already happened. This device is building off of a long history of the use of basal body temperature in fertility tracking, but it takes it a step further. First, the continuous core body temperature sensor is able to capture true circadian trough, which is what basal body temperature is trying to approximate first thing in the morning. Also, continuous core body temperature doesn't only capture the level of temperature throughout the ovulatory cycle, it also captures changes in the pattern. Reproductive hormones, including estrogen and luteinizing hormone, don't only change their level leading up to ovulation, they also change their pattern of release. Those changes involve high frequency modulations within the day, and that means that one of the advantages of measuring an output that is influenced by hormones, like continuous temperature, is that we can see analogous patterns of change, such as that increase in frequency of temperature modulation throughout the day. PrimaTemp is applying machine learning models based on real world data to the continuous core body temperature signal, meaning that an individual receives dynamic feedback based on the data that their body is producing in an attempt to identify when ovulation is likely to occur. In the 004 study, approximately 50 cycles, and in those patients, they were able to adequately pick up the patient's core body temperature with the PREA sensor over 97% of the time. They also adequately predicted ovulation 2.7 days prior to the prediction of the LH surge. So a greatly increased planning time for patients to know when they're going to ovulate, when they'd be able to be together to work on conceiving. In the current study that we're doing, the 006, we're comparing the previous methods that women used to predict ovulation, them evaluating their own cervical mucus, doing home urine LH kits, and then adding in vaginal ultrasound and now predicting and tracking ovulation on ultrasound and comparing that to the prima temp results. Probably the most exciting finding in the study so far is we had two patients who did not have a late surge and would have assumed that they didn't ovulate that month. And yet, based on the ultrasound and on the PREA sensor, we documented ovulation. And so it's evidence that it's going to be superior to the LH surge, which isn't too surprising. The PREA system includes an intravaginal temperature sensor, which is a small flexible ring that collects temperature every six minutes for the entire duration of an ovulatory cycle, up to 29 days at a time. PREA is paired with an app-based algorithm that detects subtle changes in the temperature pattern that we believe anticipate ovulation's occurrence, and then to attempt to confirm that ovulation has occurred afterwards in the early luteal phase. PREA is FDA registered and will be available over the counter to women. So overall, patients have been extremely happy with it. They find it effortless, extremely accurate, very precise, and it empowers them knowing what exactly is going on with their fertile cycle, what are their maximum days to increase their chances of conceiving and getting pregnant. One of the nice things about the app that's on the patient's phone that links to the PREA sensor is that she's able to share that information with me. So she can digitally send it to me if she wants to share it with her husband. It is shareable and yet it's still very private within their phone. And I think that's gonna be another big advantage. 
By continuously capturing rhythmic changes in temperature over time, this CCBT PREA system can anticipate ovulation more accurately than other available research or products to date. Then, to expand the use of continuous core body temperature to other clinically important indications, such as applications in fertility, in pregnancy, in metabolic health, sleep, and more.